Hey guys, thanks for stopping in. Well, we managed to get my Weber kettle out of the garage after moving, and it's out there on the deck, so I picked up a bottom round roast, and I'm going to try to cook that on it tomorrow. I saw this on sale for $2.88 a pound, so I figured I'd better grab it. Anytime you can buy beef for under $3 a pound these days, that's a great deal. So it was $8.76 for this whole bottom round roast. I think they call these rump roasts too. So um, I think what I'm going to do is just salt it tonight and uh, then put it in the fridge and see if that makes it juicier. Uh, salting overnight, I think they also call it dry brining, but I uh, never tried it with a roast like, that, like this, so I'm just going to try it. This is just kosher salt, so uh, I'm just going to sprinkle it with kosher salt like that all over the outside. I can get a hold of this here. There we are. Whoa, slippery. Come on, hold still there. <laughs> okay. Just get a good coat of salt on the outside. I don't want to overdo it and make it too salty, but uh, that looks pretty good. Guess I might as well do the fat as well. Cool. I'm going to put that in the fridge, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, I'm back. It's the next day and it looks like it's going to be nice. I have a, three big baking potatoes here that I washed off, put a little uh, vegetable oil on them, and I'm also going to put a little bit of kosher salt on the outside of them. And I'm going to wrap those in aluminum foil and put those on the grill. Alright, I pulled my uh, roast out of the fridge. It's already got enough salt on it, so uh, I think I'll put a little pepper on it as well. I have some seasoning pepper, seasoned pepper here. I like this stuff. It's got no salt in it. It's just uh, pepper, sugar, uh, red and green bell pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. So uh, I'm going to put some of that on there. I think I'll have to put just a little bit of this oil. It's just vegetable oil. Just rub a little bit of that on the outside of the meat just so the uh, that pepper will stick a little bit better. Okay. Oh! If I can hang on to it there. Just get a little coating of that on the outside of my roast. So, it's been a long time since I've done anything on the grill. I think it's been about three months. Earlier in the year it was always raining and then I had back surgery and we moved. So, this will be the first uh, video on my grill in a while so uh, kind of excited I'm actually feeling pretty upbeat today probably uh, one of the best days I've felt since I had the spinal fusion surgery so uh, just get a little coating of this seasoned pepper on the outside of the roast that looks pretty good okay let me go outside and get the grill lit it is beautiful out here I'm uh, cooking this indirect. I'm just using King, Kingsford uh, briquettes. Got them on that side of the grill. I have a slow and sear, so I have them in my slow and sear, but if you don't have one of those, just pile them up on the back side of the grill. I've done that many times, and I put water in the reservoir. I don't really know if I need it for a roast, but I filled it up anyway. So I'm gonna put get my probe into the center of my roast here, my temperature probe. Shut up, dogs. <laughs> And I think I'll cook this until the internal temperature of the roast is about 125 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I'll get the lid on there. I have the, the vent on my lid open about probably two-thirds of the way. And the vent on the bottom of the grill is open about probably about a quarter of the way. So I'm just going to let that cook until... Like I said, the internal temperature of the roast is about 125, and uh, and we'll pull it off of there. And we'll see if we need to sear it or not. I'll just play it by ear. It's beautiful out here. My meat's on there. Been on there about an hour, I guess. That's Andy's Produce Market right there. It's great having a produce market in the front. I walk there every day and just grab stuff. It's great. So my meat's been on here about an hour. It's at about 102 degrees. The grill temp is running at 248 right now. It holds the temperature perfectly between, say, 225 and 250. If I set the vent right under that first hole right there, 
Uh, today it's a little warmer, so it's probably running a little warmer than it would on a cold day, but the grill holds the temperature beautifully with that slow and sear on there. The internal temperature of my roast is at 124 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's take a look at it. That looks pretty good to me. The cooking time, it's been on there about an hour and 25 minutes, I believe. I wonder if I even really need to sear that or not. You know, I guess I could, but I think it looks pretty good just like that. I'm just gonna pull it off and let it rest for a minute and then we'll cut into it. This roast smells good. Let's uh, cut a little off and see how it is here. End piece is always gonna be a little more well done than the rest of it. We'll slice a few pieces off there. Looks pretty good. Farther in, the pinker it gets. Looks pretty good. Let me uh, slice a little piece off there and uh, we'll taste it. Well, that's pretty good. Good flavor. It's pretty juicy. I'm pretty happy with this. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll talk to you next time.